Oh, this is some new packaging. I've never seen them come out like this. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ Secret. And your girl, Martha, and we're here to do another Funko Pop unboxing. So, Funko has just debuted their new NFL line. We're really big 49er fans, so those are going to be the only football pop reviews you're going to see from our channel. Now, the first pop I was able to get is Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, and I also got a package in the mail, so we're going to be doing a little unboxing as well. Now, the pop that I'm really anticipating, which is scheduled to be released next month, is George Kittle. So the reason why I love George Kittle so much is because, number one, he's a really dope tight end. And the play that stands out to me the most is that time last year when we played against the New Orleans Aints. And he actually caught a pass by Jimmy Garoppolo. And it was fourth and two, so we really needed to make this play happen. Now, when he caught the ball, he caught it. He was running. The guy missed the tackle. He kept going. And then another guy came to tackle him, grabbed him by the face mask. A second Aints player tackled him. He still couldn't be stopped. He kept going, and it wasn't until a third Aints player came through to finally pull him down. They so, ain't bringing him down. Yeah, they, they ain't bringing Kittle down, that's for sure. So in that play, it actually allowed us to get close enough to the end zone, which we got a field goal, which put us at 48 to 46. Therefore, 49ers win. That was the dopest play, I want to say, of the year for Kittle. Um, another reason why I really love Kittle is because, like I said, he's a dope-ass tight end. And he wears number 85, which is the year that I was born. So uh, that's another reason why I really like George Kittle. And the other 49er pop is Steve Young. His estimated scheduled release date is sometime in November. So stay on the lookout for that one as well. Uh, so, here's Jimmy Garoppolo, our quarterback. Um, you like Jimmy? You know, Jimmy is pretty sweet on you. I love Jimmy. Jimmy likes you. Jimmy's been watching you. You're just Jimmy's type. Oh, thank you. So, Jimmy Garoppolo is a dope-ass quarterback as well. Um, I think he has a lot of potential. He always seemed to pull these games out of his butt. Um with a lot of luck, <laughs> a lot of Hail Marys, <laughs> mostly prayed by me <laughs> and probably other fans as well. Uh, we've been put in really tight situations, but he always seems to make something happen when it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So um, I'm all team Jimmy G. He is super dope. He hasn't failed us. Well, I mean... We didn't win the Super Bowl. That wasn't all on him, so, you know, you can't really blame him. But um, you know what? Overall, he is a dope-ass quarterback, and I think uh, he has a lot of potential to become one of the greats. Um, yeah, he threw uh, three interceptions, though, in the training camp. Yes. But you know what? That just shows that our defense is uh, probably, you know... Super dope. Exactly. <laughs> you got to look at it like a positive. <laughs> Does this uh, helmet come off at all? Uh, you know what? No, it doesn't because it has a strap here at the bottom. So he's pretty locked in. Because um, I know like on, I think, uh, Cap's old one, like you could take the helmet off. We don't have Cap, so it'll pop. Yeah, we don't have Cap. And the one time I did get a chance to actually look at him in person, he was a little bit too pricey for my taste. So I think we're going to hold off on him at least maybe a little while longer or... I don't I know. Kind of... Yeah, so we'll see. If we end up getting him, we'll show him. So back in the day when the 49ers were still playing at the Candlestick Park, uh, we had really great memories there. That was during the, uh, the Cap days and the Mike Singletary uh, days. So 
When we went tailgating, we really went tailgating. I'ma keep repping Frisco to the Super Bowl. You out of bounds if you're from here and don't rep the scope. You get a flag thrown, plus, man, you gotta go. You get sideline, man, don't get thrown out the game. Cause we the first pro football team. Rick with DJ out of the trunk of my car. We were sponsored. We had so many people coming out just to kick it at our spot because our spot was the most cracking. And before us, I want to say that nobody else was really DJing or having parties. Uh, it was pretty fun, super memorable. We had like a bunch of guest artists come through, do their little. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, like tone. <laughs> we bring uh, some little artists every uh, tailgate. Every tailgate. To perform. Mm -hmm. And they would host their little. Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we would always have the guest uh, rapper <laughs> always handing off the CDs it wasn't to Ray. always a rapper, though, remember? They, oh yeah, we, we had, had the, the like, regular known artists and uh, oh, we did. <laughs> band artists, you know, like a variety of artists that were there. Didn't we have the knuckleheads or it was the Niner knuckleheads? The yeah. Niner knuckleheads came through. <laughs> um, they were all right. <laughs> Not your taste. I don't think they were really anybody's taste in for our group. I mean, I think some people were kind of digging it, but. It wasn't like every Sunday I'd be they in the weren't car listening to it. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, we were not. <laughs> we had so much fun during those tailgates. Those were super memorable. We had all of our friends come through, and we would always just have a great time. We have great stories and memories of those times. So too much to share, like in just three minutes. Yeah, and just this video alone. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do a segment on 49er Pops alone, and we'll talk about all of our fun stories. But. That's Jimmy Garoppolo. Nine a hot boys wheezy. Missile down the middle one zero Jimmy T. Oh hell, this is that franchise. So moving on. So these pops, I couldn't wait to order. Once I found out that they were coming out, oh, this is some new packaging. I've never seen them come out like this. Um kind of embarrassing. I don't know how to take them out of the packaging. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So the first pop out of this collection is Looney Tunes. And this is the 80th anniversary. So Bugs is a smart ass. He's always outsmarting uh, Elmer Fudd, Daffy Duck, and some of the other characters as well, I'm sure. Uh, but everybody knows his famous, his famous line, what's up, Doc? And this pop here is his show outfit where he's wearing his straw hat. If I can get him out, I'll show you. Here we go. So this pop, he's wearing his straw hat and he has his showman cane. Oh, and it looks like he comes with a little stand as well. So I guess the stance that he's in, he won't be able to stand up on his own. Although, yeah, no, we're not going to go there. We're going to actually use the stand the way it was meant to be used. Do you remember exactly what episode that one's from? Not this one, but the other one that I ordered, I do. So. Is that the one where he's up there with Daffy Duck doing uh, the uh, show every night? His little dance? Mm-hmm. I think you're right. Okay. Ta-da! I think you're right. I think that is the episode where he comes out. Uh, because, yeah, he does his little dance and... Um, you could be wrong. I mean, you know, there were so many Looney Tunes episodes, so, I mean, I'm sure he had to dress like this. And you know what? Maybe one or two times. You actually own. I know. But, in all fairness, we've only seen, like, one season and a half. 
maybe. So we try to watch all of them. We do try to watch all of them. We actually have a collection and we too. We actually do actually make a, a an attempt to watch them. <laughs> like we actually like yeah, let's watch some Looney Tunes. <laughs> it's just those nights when you don't want to try to Netflix and try to search for half an hour to find something you're interested in. This is kind of a no-brainer. You just stick it in there and you just sit back, watch and laugh and go down memory lane like we do back in the day. You know, Saturday morning cartoons. This was it. This was the shit. <laughs> so that's Bugs Bunny, guys. Now... The pop that I couldn't wait to get in the mail was the other 80th anniversary of Bugs Bunny. And this is him and his fruit hat. Now, if you guys don't know, I did a little bit of reading up on this one. And he was imitating Carmen Miranda, who is a Portuguese show dancer. And she has her fruit basket on the top of her head and Bugs is hidden in there and he's just taking fruit out of her hat and just chomping on the carrots so that was this pop here oh you know what and this one doesn't come with a stand so I'm not sure if he's gonna yeah that one looks a little this one oh you know what look I was gonna say it looks a little unstable but Symmetric. I guess not I guess it was perfectly balanced so I gotta say Bugs is probably, no, no, I take that back. He is one of my favorite characters, but Taz is my all-time favorite. Uh, I love, love, love Taz, and Rick got me that one. That was my second pop, second or third pop that you got me. Oh, that started the addiction? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of the reasons why we're here. <laughs> I want to say the first one was uh, Jerry Rice. Oh. The second one was Taz, and the third one was uh, Joe Montana. Uh, was it Cusco, one of them? I want to say he was probably number four. Mm -hmm. But those were my first four pops. And after I saw Joe Montana, well, Jerry Rice stole my heart because I love Jerry Rice. And then Rick just happened to stumble upon Taz, and that's my all-time favorite Looney Tunes character. So then I started becoming more and more engaged. And then once we hit Joe Montana... And Cusco from the Emperor's New Groove. That was it for me. I became an addict. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the story, guys. Um, I love Bugs, though. He's always such a great, funny character. Uh, one of the most recent uh, Looney Tunes episodes that we saw is uh, he's playing like a psychic. And he asks this guy, do you want your palm red? And he said, yeah. So he literally paints his palm with red paint. <laughs> I thought that was so hilarious. <laughs> you know, um, Buzz just takes humor to a whole nother level. You want your palm red? Okay. Great memories. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed our unboxing uh let us know if you like jimmy g what's your favorite football pop that you're anticipating or did you like the bugs pops the 80th anniversary um leave us some comments below don't be shy hit that like don't like share don't share we don't care um <laughs> you know even the haters we hate things too so it's okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave your hate comments all you want we appreciate all feedback so that's it for today guys we'll check you out later bye